All right. So ladies and gentlemen, what they're asking us, Zeth, um, to do is take a triangle uh, M and P, and here's the points M, N, and P. And they will want us to use the transformation vector to shift the triangle. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, when we look at this transformation vector, we need to understand what is this transformation vector telling us to do. All right? So what exactly it's doing is it's telling us to shift the, shift the image two units left. And it's telling us to shift five units up. Now, for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to transform every single one of my points. All right? And to do that, if you guys remember, if we have a point, x comma y, and we have a transformation, or transformation vector a comma b, to find my new points, what I simply do is I just add the a, I just add the a and the b. OK, could you just put that somewhere else? Thank you. Does everybody see that? OK, you just add the a and the b. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in this case. I want to go ahead and determine what is m prime. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my transformation vector and add them. So in this case, I'll have 4 plus negative 2, comma, or negative 5 plus 5. Then n prime is going to be 5 plus negative 2, and then negative 8 plus 5. And then p prime is going to be 8 plus negative 2, comma, negative 6 plus 5. Okay. Notice, you, just because it's a negative, you're still adding the negative. All right? But if you notice, guys, adding a negative is the same thing as subtracting. All right? So let's go and take a look at what this looks like. 4 plus negative 2 is just 2. Negative 5 plus negative, or negative 5 plus 5 is 0. n prime now turns into 5 plus negative 2 is 3. Negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. And p prime is going to be 8 um, plus negative 2 is going to be 6. And negative 6 plus 5 is going to be negative 1. All right, so now what I have, ladies and gentlemen, is a, a set of six points. So I'm going to graph my original image first, and then I'm going to graph my reflected image. So I have first, my graph point is 4, negative 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's point M. Then we have N, which is 5, negative 8. So 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we have p, which is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, negative 6. OK, so that's my original triangle. And now what I'm going to do is graph my new images that were shifted left 2 and up 5. So from m, I now have the point 2, comma 0. n is going to be 1, 2, 3, negative 3. 1, 2, 3. And p is now 6, negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 1. OK? Now, I know my graph, ladies and gentlemen, is not the best in the world. All right? But this image, these figures, one thing that you would need to notice about shifting is the shape retains the exact same shape and size. All we did is we took this graph, shifted it left two units, and then up five. OK? Now, the next one, the next way I'm going to show you guys this is a little bit simpler.